also writing another film called The Railway Man, an Australian director, Jonathan Chubrisky. He's an amazing director with Colin Firth. That was in last year, back to back with Wolverine, so that was fantastic. And it is Nicole just Kidman cutting. too, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just finished cutting, um, uh, and I was helping out on the post uh, production side as well for Japanese advising. And so that's it. another thing that I'm quite exciting is coming out. Although it's a really horrible story for a Japanese side of it. Um, very good outcome at the very end, but another war film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, uh, hence I'm here to sort of go on the bandwagon of, of Wolverine. It's about a POW's um, um, set in 1940. It's based on a book, Eric Lomax, and he wrote this book about the experience about the POW's in camp in Japan, uh, in Thailand, and they built this, the famous Death uh, Railroad. Spent there for three years um, uh, as an engineer, engineer. Uh, but although he was in the POW and, uh, horrific, during World War Two, yeah, mm -hmm. horrif very horrific um, um, experience. Anyway, after the post-war, <coughs> he went back to London and uh, oh, Scotland, sorry, and uh, he had this traumatic, I guess, uh, uh, post-war depression. And he wrote a book, book about it. And he found this uh, a newspaper about this Japanese uh, interrogator when he was getting interrogated. Because he was such an enthusiast about the railway that he had this map on him all the time, and he wanted he was really wanted to know about what's happening, where the Japanese was building this this railway. They, c they caught him uh, having the map and the radio, so he tortured him really, really badly. So he was tormented after the post war. And he found this photo of this guy in Thailand who uh, built this uh, memorial about uh, uh, this whole railway and he became a monk and so he felt so sorry about what the Japanese army did to all these prisoners. And so Eric found this guy and through the newspaper went to Thailand and wanted to do a revenge to him 30 years later. Now I've come became they became my best friend afterwards and they opened up and forgave each other. It's a really amazing story. Wow. So you story. play an Australian in that right? No, I play Japanese. <laughs> yeah, good eye. <laughs> I am the torturer. Very evil character. Again, this is an antagonist character, but I thought it was a very important story to be told. It's a different, uh, I guess, war film to to, to other uh, Americans and Australian films that I've worked on. And because it's got a really good outcome at the very end, it's about forgiveness. Hatred is just a, a waste of energy. Kind of yeah. Like, yeah. And that's the whole message about the whole thing. Unfortunately, Eric passed away last year, so he couldn't actually see oh, the wow. final cut, yeah. but he was very happy and he was very involved with the film.